Hello, my name is Nathaniel Smith, Manager Enterprise Risk at Grand Prairie Regional College, and thank you for joining me as we review the COVID-19 Access Guidelines and Expectations document. This document should be considered fluid as it will be updated as guidelines and expectations require adjustment, and this version is from December 18th, 2020. The health and safety of members of the college community is the top priority as work begins to resume on-campus operations during the COVID-19 pandemic. This guideline will be in effect for as long as deemed necessary by GPRC executive upon recommendation of the COVID-19 emergency response team and applies to all individuals in or on GPRC premises, as well as users of college fleet vehicles. This college does not apply to tenants within their residential housing units or people that are not GPRC employees in the Hawker Pavilion, Northern Lakes College Building, Building Blocks Daycare, the College and Community Health Center, and accessing the Fairview Pool. Members of the college community mean all employees, students, volunteers, contractors, visitors, and other individuals who work, study, conduct research, or otherwise carry on the business of the college. Premises means college campus, grounds, and buildings that are owned, leased, or operated by the college. Non-compliance with this guideline will be followed up for employees through the progressive discipline policy and students through the student misconduct, academic, and non-academic policy. Contractors with non-compliance will be followed up through agreements made under the procurement policy. Members of the college community must have approval to enter premises through either being a registered student, inclusion on the GPRC employee essential list, approval by their vice president or VP designate, or in the case of contractors, approval through agreement between the company and GPRC through the procurement policy. Members of the college community entering any premises or fleet vehicle must complete the screening process via the GPRC COVID-19 mobile app or paper form and show security for verification. If a member of the college community does not meet the conditions of the screening process, they'll not be allowed to enter the premises. An update for the GPRC app is available for Apple and Android devices to access the COVID-19 screening feature. If the paper form is being completed by an employee or student, they will need to show their GPRC, uh, GPRC ID with photo. If GPRC ID is not available, and they must show another form of ID and security will search the employee student database to verify the name provided. Children entering the demonstration daycare will be screened by daycare staff using the current Alberta Health Daily Checklist for ch child care and children under 18 years of age. If a child does not meet the conditions of the screening process, they'll not be allowed to enter the premises. GPRC maintains the right to refuse entry to any child. Security will be at stations to verify screening process completion. Once the verification is complete, a member can then continue to their department, work location, or other location on campus to carry on their business. After the initial daily screening process verification, any re-entry into the same building is strongly encouraged to take place to the closest entry to the screening station location, but this is not required as long as the alternate entry door used is secured behind the member of the college community. Exiting a, exiting a building can take place from any exterior door as long as the door is secured behind the member of the college community. At the Fairview campus, secured screening locations are stationed at the TIB, Animal Health, and Plant Science Building weekdays from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Screening guards at the three locations will be in place until the end of their shifts on December 18th. Between December 21st to January 3rd, employees may still access the campus and students may access the campus on December 21st and 22nd. The three stations will resume on January 4th. If a member of the college community is arriving outside of when the screening stations are operating, the member must call security, 780-835-6664, to arrange to meet at one of the campus screening stations. At the Grand Prairie campus, a station will be at the main entry weekdays from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. To support evening classes, the main entry screening station will have security added until 15 minutes after the last class starts. Stations are also at the M-Wing entry and theater entry weekdays from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. A station at the Trades Building will be in place weekdays from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. when the building is in use for programs. Similarly, for the winter break, screening guards at the three locations will be on campus until the end of their shifts December 18th. December 21st and 22nd, the theater, and the theater island entry will be locked, but the entry can still take place to the main entrance and M-Wing. On December 23rd, only the M-Wing entry will be unlocked, but between December 23rd to January 3rd, the main entry is locked, but security can provide access to GPRC employees and students that have appointments. The three screening locations will resume on January 4th. 
Similarly, if to the Fairview campus, if a member of the college community is arriving outside of when the screening stations are operating, the member must call security 780-539-2700 to arrange to meet at one of the campus stations. At the National Bee Diagnostic Center, the member of the college community must email their screening process results to security at gprc.ab.ca when they arrive to the premises. Contractors access is in alignment with the agreement with the, between the company and GPRC through the procurement policy process. Contractors must complete the screening process with security via paper form. If a contractor does not meet the conditions of the screening process, they'll not be allowed to work inside the premises and are not able to come in. Fairview campus screening locations as a TIB, animal health, plant science, at the Grand, Grand Prairie campus, main entry, theater entrance, and M-Wing. Members of the college community who refuse to complete the screening process will be denied entry. They must then follow up with their supervisor about future access accommodations. All personal information collected through the screening document process is collected under the authority of the Alberta Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy FOIP Act. If you have any questions about this, please contact GPRC's Information and Privacy Coordinator and Laverick at gprc.ab.ca. Currently, all college services are moved to appointment only. All departments will be locked during the day and admission granted only to employees with that within that department. Department access can be granted to external users by appointment or with approval on an as needed basis. Ex executive members are excluded from this requirement. Self-reporting, tracking and response. Members of the college community who start to experience symptoms associated with COVID-19 while on site must immediately return home to isolate. The member must update that they do not meet conditions of GPRC screening process and enhanced cleaning will take place in the area where the member of the college community was working. Symptomatic individuals should use AHS's COVID-19 self-assessment or contact 811 for screening and testing. Employees must notify their supervisor and students must notify their instructor if they do not meet the screening requirement process. These employees and students must sign into the isolation registry on GPRC's website. If GPRC learns that two or more members of the college community have become symptomatic and have a known location link, like they inhabit the same residence or they're in the same class, GPRC will follow its rapid response plan to illness and outbreaks on campus and will notify Alberta Health Services in accordance with the post-secondary relaunch guidelines. Records may be sought for up to two weeks prior to the individual becoming ill. GPRC will work cooperatively with AHS to ensure those potentially exposed to symptomatic individuals receive appropriate instruction. Members of the college community are strongly encouraged to download and use Alberta's voluntary contact tracing app, AB Trace Together. Physical distancing and masks. A physical distance of two meters is to be maintained between individuals at all time while on campus, even outdoors. A mask must be worn when this cannot be achieved. Acrylic cough guard barriers have been installed at frontline locations that typically experience higher traffic volumes to protect members of the college community. And a hazard assessment can be completed and submitted to myself, Nathaniel Smith, to request additional cough guards. Mandatory mask wearing in public spaces is required except when working alone in an office or a safely distanced cubicle or an, appropriate, or an appropriate barrier is in place at that location. Instructors can on mask while teaching, but must wear their mask before and after class. Students must wear a mask at all times in indoor areas of the college, including in the classrooms, laboratory rooms, and shop spaces. Exceptions to this requirement may be considered upon completion of a hazard assessment on if wearing a mask while completing that required activity could cause physical harm to the health of the employee or student. The mask may be removed when the individual is seated in the GP cafeteria or Fairview atrium that has been prearranged to maintain physical distancing requirements. Facilities can supply a de department with an initial box of 50 non-medical masks. Any additional mask purchases will be the responsibility of the department. Contractors are required to provide their own masks to their employees, and students are expected to supply their own mask when on college premises. If two or more individuals are required to come within two meters of one another for the purpose of instruction, practice, job-related task, or undertaking examinations, additional protections must be instituted based on hazard assessment. Controls could be engineering, uh, like barriers and partitions, administrative, so adapting the activity to eliminate close contact, and use of masks by individuals in close contact. The task can only be performed once the employee's supervisor approves the controls and that hazard assessment is submitted to myself, Nathaniel Smith, the time the individuals are in close contact should be kept to a minimum. Group studying is not allowed except in situations where two or more students must be physically present for the purpose of practice or practical activity. 
there are no indoor or outdoor social gatherings permitted. Early learning and child care, child care programs employees must follow the protocols provided by Alberta government for child care facilities while in their offices and children's spaces. Employees entering into other sections of the premises when not accompanying children must physical distance wear masks as outlined in these guidelines. Individuals who can work or study from home are strongly encouraged to continue to do so. In-person meetings are discouraged and the use of virtual meetings is strongly encouraged even when all participants are on campus. Any meeting deemed necessary to be in-person should inside the premises must occur within an enclosed room and adhere to capacity restrictions where furniture has been prearranged to maintain physical distancing. Facilities maintenance and operations and information technology employees completing work orders in an occupied space must coordinate access with the department's manager, director, or dean. The physical number of people in a room or educational space at one time with appropriate physical distancing is 100 people or fewer, but classroom occupancies have been adjusted to adhere to physical distancing requirements. If a member of the college community cannot wear a mask due to a pre-existing medical condition, they must follow up with their supervisor about future access accommodations. For employees, this can be done through the workplace accommodation policy and accommodations for students are to go through student services. Hand washing and respiratory etiquette. Members of the college community should make every effort to ensure respiratory etiquette is followed. So coughing or sneezing into a bent elbow, probably disposing of used tissues in a lined garbage bin and washing hands after a cough or a sneeze. Members of the college community should wash their hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with greater than 60% alcohol content if hand washing is not available. Members of the college community should adhere to additional best practices to prevent the spread of COVID-19 found at this link. And to encourage good hygiene, hand sanitizers have been installed at all exterior doors and throughout the interior of the premises. For disinfecting and cleaning, GPRC's contractor custodial company has implemented a schedule for enhanced cleaning and disinfecting of high traffic areas and high touch surfaces. In addition to the custodial schedule, departments are responsible for sanitizing and disinfecting workspaces and related high touch surfaces. Use of shared items or equipment must be avoided where possible. Equipment or items that must be shared, like workbenches, desktops, cabinets, fume hoods, laboratory research tools, athletic equipment, coffee makers, etc., must be cleaned and disinfected before and after each use by the user, and the user should perform hand hygiene before and after each use. Cleaning tips include cleaning touch points and surfaces before disinfecting. Make sure that the least soil to most soil surfaces are cleaned from highest to lowest. Apply cleaner or disinfectant to a damp cloth or disposable wipe before use, changing cloth as needed. And after cleaning, apply disinfectant to cloth as required to keep cloth wet. Wipe until the entire surface has been covered. Surfaces will need to remain wet for the manufacturer's recommended contact well or dry time. Follow cleaning product manufacturer's directions. Departments will remove all communal items that cannot be easily cleaned, such as newspapers, magazine, candy dishes, business cards, non-laminated posters or signs, etc. And facilities will provide disinfecting cleaning supplies to each department to support requirements. Determination of the appropriate disinfecting cleaning agents will be at the discretion of facilities maintenance and operations. If a product is transferred from its original container, a label identifying the contents must be applied. Some additional information. GPRC supports the psychological health and safety of members of the college community. Information about GPRC's mental health resources can be found at GPRC's website. And for mental health, additional information can be found at Alberta's website. Employees should take part in the COVID-19 contact tracing course available through Human Resources on the SharePoint site. And employees should review the COVID-19 hazard assessment for working at two meters or greater through the Health and Safety SharePoint site. GPRC-related non-essential domestic travel is not recommended. If GPRC-related essential domestic travel is approved though, limit the number of individuals in the vehicle, wear a mask when there is more than one person in the vehicle, wash or sanitize hands before entering the vehicle and after exiting, if the journey includes stops where the vehicle is vacated, have occupants sit in the same seats when returning to the vehicle. Airflow in the vehicle should not be set to the recirculating setting. An increased frequency of cleaning and disinfecting of high-touch surfaces, such as door handles, internal and external, seatbelt clasps, window controls, seats, armrests, and the steering wheel. If any GPRC faculty and staff are planning to return to their primary residence for the holidays, they can do so if it is in Alberta. If their home is in another province or country, they are permitted to leave Alberta, but should consult the rules for travel in their home jurisdictions before doing so. If they are coming from another country back to Alberta, they must follow travel rules upon re-entering the country. Employees and contractors are responsible for being aware of the egress routes and muster points on campus. 
during a building evacuation, it is the responsibility of all employees and security to guide non-employees out of the building to GPRC muster points. At the muster points, employees are to encourage evacuees to maintain physical distancing. More information can be found on GPRC's website. Go to gprc.me forward slash COVID-19 for the latest additional information from GPRC. Members of the college community are encouraged to remain up to date on developments related to COVID-19. And here's the link for Alberta's information. Signage has been posted throughout the facility stating requirements and providing guidelines to ensure safety of the college community. Please pay attention and adhere to requirements outlined on signage as required. GPRC will keep contact information for all staff and students and keep daily attendance lists for in-person classes. Section 10 has additional COVID-19 education and awareness links. We have some information on how to wear a non-medical mask. And the last two pages are the screening documents to be completed and verified by, uh, to be completed and verified by the member of the college community and shown to campus security. So for non-employees, so this would be for students and for contractors or approved members of the public entering the facilities. Uh, this is the non-employee screening document. Do you have any of the onset or worsening of any of the following symptoms listed here? Please note the plus marks on certain of the uh, items listed for symptoms. Have you or anyone in your household traveled outside of Canada in the last 14 days? Or have you or anyone in your household been in close contact? Close contact means within two meters for more than 15 minutes. So have you and anyone in your household been in close contact in the last 14 days with someone that is experiencing symptoms marked in question with the plus marks? Fever, cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, difficulty building, running nose, or being investigated or confirmed to be a case of COVID-19. If you answered yes to any of these above questions, do not enter GPRC premises at this time. Symptomatic individuals should use AHS's COVID-19 self-assessment or call it HealthLink 811 for assist assistance. Students must notify their instructor if they do not meet the screening requirements and sign into the isolation registry on GPRC's website. If you've answered no, you can proceed to enter the premises, but while on campus, remember to practice physical distancing, wear a mask and practice good hygiene. You must also agree, yes or no, that you have been adhering to the guidelines of the public health orders recommended by the Chief Medical Officer of Health. If you have answered no and have not been adhering to the guidelines, you will not be able to enter GPRC premises. Date, signature, name, and again, the uh, FOIP information below. For employees, it's a slightly different document. The symptomatic in, uh, questions are all the same. All the pluses are the same. Uh, have you been inside of your house, traveled outside of Canada in the last 14 days? Have you been in close contact in the last 14 days with, or someone that is experiencing symptoms marked in question one with pluses, or being investigated or confirmed to be a case of COVID-19? Same thing, if you answer yes to any of these questions, you'll be denied premises. Symptomatic individuals should use AHS COVID-19 self-assessment or contact 811 for assistance. And employees must notify their supervisor if they do not meet the screening requirements and sign into the isolation registry on GPRC's website. If you answered no, you can answer the premises, but practice physical distancing, wear a mask and practice good hygiene. Employees have two different questions. So I agree that I have been adhering to the guidelines and public health orders recommended by the Chief Medical Officer of Health, yes. And as employees, you've completed the returning to work on campus training, read the campus access guidelines and expectations document and completed the related tasks. And if you've answered no to either of these questions, you'll not be able to enter GPRC premises. And I appreciate your time today joining me as we reviewed this document. Uh, this is part of the process so that you can answer yes to question number two. Have a good day and thank you for your time.